Hello there, Coin Metallurgist here. Uh, sorry I haven't uh, posted a video anytime recently. I've been uh, busy with school and finishing up finals. Um, as I had promised, um, I'm up in Idaho now. And uh, I uh, got uh, from the local bank up here a bunch of coins. So the idea here is I'm going to replicate the uh, experiments I had done down in Denver. Um, to see if it's more or less likely to get uh, silver out of uh, bank rolls um, up here than down there. Um, so this is what the bank initially initially has given me. Um, and let me just show you what I got here and then I'll give you a little bit further explanation uh, of what we got here. So we have uh, four uh, boxes of dimes. So that's $1,000 in dimes. That's uh, twice of of the amount of dimes that I went through in Denver. And the issue I had in Denver was that I kept getting brand new dimes. And uh, the teller warned me that that could be a possibility here as well. So uh, really hoping those aren't all brand new dimes. Um, and then I didn't really want bags of coins, but they had them and I said I'd take them. Um, and then uh, in addition to getting these bags of coins, I ordered, um, boxes of nickels, half dollars, and quarters. So what we have here is two bags of, of nickels. This is $200 of nickels each. So we have $400 in nickels here. Um, and we have a bag of half dollars and a bag of quarters. So those are $1,000 each. Um, so I ordered an additional $1,000 of quarters in boxes, uh, $2,000 in half dollars in boxes because they have to order them in that quantity. And sure, I'll take $2,000 uh, any day. And then I ordered another $200, uh, which is just two boxes of nickels. Um, the reason why I did that is because, especially with these half dollars, um, I'm worried that, you know, these aren't probably aren't uh, circulated real well up here. So it's very likely that these came from someone that got them and looked through them for the silver ones, and there might not be any left. So I wanted to get boxes uh, so that they might uh, have silver ones inside of it, a little, at least uh, better chances than these ones have. I do. I was looking at them and I think I might have seen one that looks like it might be silver in there, but I can't be sure yet because um, I couldn't see the date on it. Um, just one comment about these dimes. Uh, these are the same packaging that I get down in Denver, so these are coming from uh, Loomis. Um, uh, these bags were, were marked to go back to the Federal Reserve Bank, and I'm not uh, absolutely sure uh, what Federal Reserve Bank uh, services this part of Idaho. It might very well be uh, the Denver one, or maybe uh, if there's one in Salt Lake would be a lot closer, actually. Um, but uh, hopefully we'll have some good finds from these. Um, I'll make uh, quite a few different videos for each uh, portion of these. Um, and so we have about 30, we have $3,400 in coins here. Um, and then I'm getting another 3,200 more um, to look through while I'm up here in Idaho. And hopefully we can uh, find some good stuff in them. So stay tuned for more videos uh, of this experiment. Thanks.